We're currently experiencing some of the biggest revolutions and changes to the electrical industry since it was birthed by Tesla, Edison and Westinghouse. Now some people are a little bit too quick to dismiss some of these as unrealistic when we think about EVs and the charging infrastructure required, perhaps unhealthy as in LED lighting, or just a passing fad as in smart technology. However, all of these things are born from a need to use the Earth's dwindling resources more effectively and efficiently. Now that last one, smart technology, may well be one of the things that holds the key to the subject of this video. It's just possible that as an electrician, the implementation of Lot 20 from the European Eco Design Directive passed you by. But if so, it's probably the most important set of regulations that you've never heard of. Why? Well, in combination with some proposed changes for something called the SAP-10 document, we could be about to usher in a new field of opportunity for electricians. Let's try and get to grips with this situation. The European Eco Design Directive has been brought about to basically try and improve the efficiency of equipment in use throughout the whole of Europe. As this directive covers a vast array of equipment, it's broken down into various subcategories of equipment called LOTs. Lot 20 includes electric heating equipment. Any electric heater of more than 250 watts is covered by this legislation, so that's where the name comes from. It actually came into effect on the 1st of January 2018 and it laid down some new rules to increase the efficiency of electric heaters. This included things like no longer using mechanical timers and mechanical thermostats. Now we're all familiar with how inaccurate a device relying on a bimetallic strip can be. You shift the dial a fraction and it clicks on, and then you can roll it back several degrees before it clicks off again. Well, the implementation of Lot 20 did away with that and ensured the use of more efficient and accurate temperature controls and digital timers. So we've got some legislation requiring the use of more efficient heating control. At the same time, there's a strong possibility that the SAP-10 document will bring about some changes to the way we view the use of electricity as a fuel source. SAP, by the way, stands for Standard Assessment Procedure, and it's a way that a new home can be assessed in order to ensure it complies with relevant efficiency, energy, environmental and building regulations. Up until now, we've considered electricity not to be a great heat source because we lose energy in the distribution system. However, with the huge increase in sources of renewable electricity, we can view this as being offset and the changes proposed in SAP 10 will acknowledge that electricity is now a viable and sustainable source of heating. Once these changes are made, it will be possible for electric heaters to qualify for SAP points, which means that electric heating will get spec'd on a more regular basis, and it will also contribute more value to a property's energy performance certificate. Add into this melting pot the fact that from 2025, gas will no longer be provided to new properties, and we're clearly starting to see a huge opportunity for the electrical industry, whereby in addition to the regular electrical installation, we'll also start getting contracts for installing the heating in properties. So there's a key point. As the world increasingly tends towards renewable source of electricity, it will increasingly tend towards electrical power. But what seriously are the options? Traditionally, there's always been pretty much two ways of heating a space directly using electricity. You've got your standard panel heaters that operate in an on-demand fashion, or you've got storage heaters that are full of bricks that charge up during off-peak periods and then slowly release their heat through the day, and are not great for the wild variations in daily temperatures that seem to be increasingly common. Both of these types of heaters can be Lot 20 compliant by the use of various sensors and timers, However, there is a third way of using electrical heating directly, and it's found in this heater from PremSpec. It's kind of operating on principle somewhere between a panel heater and a storage heater. It's an oil-filled radiator. The elements in these fins quickly heat up a reservoir of oil, which retains the heat and dissipates it slowly over a period of time, thus combining the responsiveness of an on-demand panel heater and the storage efficiency of a storage heater. Now, oil-filled radiators have been around for a long, long time. However, the thermal inertia of the oil has allowed PremSpec to enable a special feature of this heater. Traditional heaters draw full current to heat up a space and then turn off until the temperature drops to a level where the heater will kick in again at full current. However, the Ascot heater will actually change how much current it draws through the heating elements to maintain a steady heat output. This, combined with the fact that this heater is really compactly designed, means that it is incredibly efficient. In fact, it has a market-leading efficiency of 167 watts per fin. And the best part of it is, it's completely Lot 20 compliant indeed. It actually goes beyond the minimum requirements of that legislation to deliver a higher than required efficiency for compliance. It does this by electronic room temperature control with seven-day timers, open window sensors, distance control technology via Wi-Fi control, and even geolocation technology, so that its heating pattern will alter depending on whether you are leaving the property containing the heater or traveling home at the end of the day. 
And there, we've come back to the point that we were making at the start of the video. Far from being a passing fad, it turns out that smart technology may well be exactly what's needed to fine tune the efficiency of our heating products. All of this means that this heater from the Ascot range from Premspec delivers market leading efficiency that goes beyond the requirements of current legislation and becomes a really attractive proposition for specifiers and installers alike. It's worth noting that some housing associations and specifiers are already looking at this kind of product as a viable heating solution. And the more forward thinking among developers and housing associations are already installing them as they look to the post 2025 future and the changes to SAP 10 that are on the way. So educate yourself about lot 20. You'll see that these heaters offer great cost benefits for installation and maintenance. Educate your customers, help them to see the benefits in running costs. In short, prepare for the future of heating as all of this represents a phenomenal opportunity for electricians. Because make no mistake, the world is becoming increasingly powered by electricity. And as renewable sources continue to expand and the efficiency of equipment improves, it could well be that we're entering a golden age for electricians. And it's fair to say that these heaters aren't just golden, they're positively gleaming. Thank you very much for watching.